Hello, I'm Nayeon Kim from SKKU. I'm currently working on a hybrid system for hydrogen production in the laboratory for advanced electrochemical system. Through this presentation, I would like to introduce my research field, the hybrid system for spontaneous hydrogen production using alcohol oxidation. As you all know, efforts are being made around the world to confront the deepening climate crisis. Carbon dioxide, one of the main causes of the climate crisis, is caused by the burning of fossil fuels. So, the research on alternative energy sources that can replace fossil fuels is drawing keen attention. Alternative energy sources include various renewable energy sources such as hydro, wind, and solar energy. Among them, hydrogen, in particular, is attracting attention as a secondary energy source that can be obtained through fossil fuels or water, and as a next-generation energy source that acts as a source of energy. Hydrogen is an eco-friendly energy source that is highly energy efficient and does not generate carbon dioxide during use. Currently, Hydrogen can be classified into three categories depending on the presence or absence of carbon dioxide in the production process. First of all, gray hydrogen is currently the most produced hydrogen, which can be mass produced and has a low production cost. But there is a limit to carbon dioxide being emitted during the production process. Next, blue hydrogen is the hydrogen that captures and utilizes carbon dioxide generated during the production of hydrogen. Although, the amount of hydrogen emitted into the atmosphere is less than that of gray hydrogen, additional technology is needed to capture and utilize carbon dioxide. Lastly, Green hydrogen is the hydrogen that does not generate carbon dioxide during the production process. The energy required to produce hydrogen is supplied through renewable energy. Therefore, many studies are being conducted to increase green hydrogen output and lower production costs to increase utilization. Green hydrogen is currently produced by electrochemical water electrolysis. The bottom left figure is a schematic diagram of a typical electrochemical water electrolysis. It is a system in which oxygen evolution reaction and hydrogen evolution reaction occur in each of the two electrodes to decompose water to produce hydrogen. As I said before, green hydrogen is produced by electrochemical water electrolysis. The figure in the upper right is a water electrolysis system using a cation exchange membrane that can selectively transport cations. A typical water electrolysis system is a non-spontaneous system that must provide energy. And under conditions where the pH of analyte and cathelite are the same as acidic or basic, it requires as much as 1.229 voltage to produce hydrogen. Moreover, the oxygen evolution reaction, which is an oxidation reaction, is a sluggish reaction that requires large overvoltage. So the overall cell potential is increased and requires more power to drive the system. To overcome these limitations, we wanted to replace the oxygen evolution reaction with another oxidation reaction. Research on the application of alcohol oxidation to hydrogen production systems is still actively underway. The methanol oxidation reaction is known to have a negative standard potential and a relatively low overvoltage than the oxygen evolution reaction. Therefore, when methanol oxidation reaction and hydrogen evolution reaction occur under base condition, the total cell potential is minus 0.019 voltage, which requires much less energy than conventional minus 1.229 voltage. But there is still a limit to the non-spontaneous system that needs to be powered, 
So we've come up with a new system to overcome that as well. Therefore, we have configured the following new system. The pH of electrolyte was adjusted differently as analyte with strong base ST and catholyte with strong acidity. So the overall cell potential was adjusted to 0.81 voltage by the correlation between pH and potential. This allows for the spontaneous production of hydrogen. When methanol is completely oxidized using a catalyst such as platinum, carbon dioxide is generated. Therefore, by controlling the reaction path of methanol oxidation using transition metal catalysts such as nickel and cobalt, other products with added values such as formate can be produced instead of carbon dioxide. In addition, Two ion exchange membranes were used to maintain the pH of the electrolyte at both ends, and a buffer solution was introduced between the two membranes to enable desalination with a mechanism to maintain charge equilibrium at both ends. Finally, we constituted the hybrid system for green hydrogen production using alcohol oxidation that enables desalination at the same time. As I mentioned before, research is being actively conducted on hydrogen production systems using alcohols such as methanol and ethanol, as well as various fuels such as hydrogen. At the same time, research on the catalysts is also being conducted to reduce overvoltage and increase catalyst activity. Also, various applications are being developed that can produce hydrogen and value-added products. Through these various studies, it is expected that the goal of carbon neutrality around the world will be achieved. With this, I will end my presentation. Thank you.